Hi and welcome to another top tip. Did you know about the paint and palette tool? So if you go into your effects module, so down on the bottom bar, and we're going to be looking at paint. So first of all just wipe a background there, um, I've just selected black. So here's all your paint tools and what we're going to do is just um, bring up first of all the palette. So F2 brings up the palette control um, and you can see if I drag on that yellow corner, that triangle, it will expand the palette. If I tap on it, it actually pops it down into my desk area and then F2 to bring it up uh, and to close it again. F2 wherever you position it, so on the grey bar there you can reposition it. So picking up a colour, you just pick up a colour and start to paint. So it's a single tap to select and then a scribble mark to paint. You can change the paintbrush size either using uh, numerical values or using that panel there and you can change your type of paintbrush. So we've got paint, chalk, air, chair, um, which is a soft edge um, chair brush. If you've got pick selected, this will make your palette go black um, or your, curse, your current cursor go black. So um, I used pick and then tapped on the screen as you saw there, but if you turn pick off and then start to paint, you'll be painting on the screen area. So it's very easy just to pick up your color, start to scribble, oh, this one, there we go. Uh, and obviously change the size uh, and format of your brush. You can also use the palette to um, create gradiated um, looks up here as well. Um, you can actually wipe the palette in one full colour, so for example if I wipe it fully white and then tap down to add those little uh, blue colours there. Um, the action is to flick down to add them and flick down to remove them. Sometimes I find that by adding a new colour it's easier um, to remove the next one. So I make it blue and then flick down and remove it. So that's it. That's just a quick introduction to the palette um, and how you can use it. Um, have fun!